Good morning guys and welcome back. So in the last video we're camping out at Hangaroa. You would have seen the teardrop trailer. I just thought I'd do a small video, a walk around off the trailer. Um, the price that we paid and everything that's sort of included if you guys want to rent this trailer as well. We did rent it locally from the Suntrain Coast from a private user. Now the website that we hired it through was Campify. And it, you can hire all sorts of campers from, you can even hire tents for like $10 a night. For the big campers that, campers that are like $300 a night if you want. I'll leave all these links in the description below if you guys want to check these out. Also I'll leave a link of where we stayed as well. Now this is the first time we were camping uh, with my son so I thought a teardrop trailer would be the perfect opportunity to hire a teardrop trailer, be a bit more comfortable for him, less setting up um, and this is also a perfect um, sort of camp set up for either wives or girlfriends or even men that don't necessarily like sleeping on um, the ground inside a tent. It can be uncomfortable, it can be um, a lot brighter, noisier, whatever it might be, a lot of people don't like it, but this might be the sort of thing that you guys might like, the sort of thing that might get you guys out um, on a few adventures and stuff like that. So let's take a walk around of this uh, teardrop camper. Alright, so on the back of the teardrop you've got the kitchen, some people call it a galley, whatever you want to call it, it's your cooking space, it's got your fridge, it's got your cooking stove, um, it's got all your storage for all your food supplies. Um, and a lot of the stuff they actually supply, they supply all the knives, uh, tongs, cups, plates, everything like that, which is awesome. There's only minimal stuff you need to bring, like your food, uh, they even do tomato sauce, uh, salt and pepper, and all that good stuff. So there's only minimal stuff that you guys need to bring um, if you do rent it. This is the back setup. Oops, we've got some sausages on the barbie, got a beer open. It's pretty spacious. Um, the back of it also offers a bit of sun protection as well, or weather protection, if it is running, which is always a benefit. So on the inside, you've got your dual burner, uh, just a Gen 4 wheel drive uh, dual burner, which is really easy to use. We're just cooking up a couple of sausages at the moment. We've got them like a nice low heat. Uh, then inside, we've got a few different cupboards. You can do all your um, crackers, biscuits, whatever you want, dog food. Um, some of this stuff is already supplied, other stuff isn't. Now if you if, if you guys are going to hang a row, I would recommend bringing some pretty strong mozzarella repellent. They are pretty bad out here. Uh, they will kill you. Um, John, one on either side, um, goes all the way through, which is pretty good. This is the stuff they supply. Tea, coffee, um, some bug spray, sauces, some just some general stuff. Let's see our, um, those are our wee books. Um, tea towels, stuff like that, which is always good. And those lockups, they're nice and secure, not going anywhere. Uh, you've got the solar converter up there so you can monitor how many amps you're putting out. Um, you've got a light under here as well, which is great for nighttime cooking. You've got a 12 volt, a uh, 24 volt um, output as well. Fire extinguisher, fire blanket, and you've also got an outside light on both sides as well. Down the bottom, you've got uh, one drawer, um, and they just end up, uh, click into place, which is awesome. Knives, forks, same on the bottom one. Uh, a couple other things, bug spray, first aid kit and stuff like that. Rubbish bags. Uh, now that one's a little bit sticky, so you've just got to yank it out. Pots, pans, stuff like that. Pretty ordinary stuff for a kitchen. And cups and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. They supply quite a lot of stuff. Um, and then you've got a pretty big, big fridge as well, which is fully built in. Runs at about five degrees um, all the time. Will go up slightly when you put that warm stuff in there. It's a decent size, got all our snacks, chocolate, bears, uh, kids yogurt and stuff like that. Inside it, plenty of room though, uh, which we're quite surprised about. Uh, really happy with it as well. And it runs all the time. It won't turn off, which is awesome. Even if you lose uh, power to the rest of the car, like your lights and stuff like that, that will still be running, which is awesome. Uh, that's pretty much it in the back. It's a really nice setup, very spacious. Love this, how you've got a nice um, weather protection, sun protection, and everything like that, it's pretty awesome. So that's back of the uh, teardrop trailer, um, the cooking area, whatever you guys want to call it, that's the back of it, and it looks pretty damn cool. Very useful, um, pretty much everything you need inside a kitchen uh, for when you're out camping and enjoying some sunny days. So let's get on to the rest of the trailer. All right, so on the outside you can see the bright orange paint with the diesel dog camping logo down the side and the dog on the back and the sides as well. 
Now on the teardrop sort of pivot part, you've got three massive solar panels. Um, and down here you've got the, you've got like a dirty gear bag that's got like the floor mats um, and everything in like that. Um, obviously you've got the tow hitch and everything like that. So it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's not lifted at all. Um, it's a good size. Up the front, um, on one side you've got a 2x4 awning. Obviously the baby pen doesn't come with it. You've also got a camping table that comes with it. You've got two camping chairs. You can bring your own stuff if you want. Um, one of the best things I think is these doors. They have like a little latch on them as well. Um, really easy to lock and unlock. Um, and you also got fly screens on them as well. So you can actually detach the fly screen um, like that. And you've got fly screens on both doors that lock so you can have that nice and open um, and also let the hot air out as well. Now on the inside you've got uh, queen bed, heaps of room, lights uh, all over the place, on the roof, uh, a nice big TV, plenty of storage all over the place, um, shelving, a nice queen bed, it's pretty basic but there's heaps of room in here, you wouldn't think there'd be that much room but there, there's a lot of room, and lots of lights, exterior lights, um, internal lights, everything you could possibly want. Um, we love the bug screens, there were so much bugs here, um, so many mosquitoes, it was bad. Heats of room in here, you could probably see three people if you want, if you're that way inclined, whatever it might be. Um, but heaps of storage in here, love the TV, uh, nice big comfy bed. Uh, you do have to bring your own sheets, uh, which is fine. They do provide a couple of pillows. But you've got hooks, lights, lights all over the place. It's fantastic, heaps of room. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you guys saw the galley, the kitchen, pretty basic trailer really, uh, nice setup, perfect setup for camping. Lightweight, um, e really easy to tow, and really affordable. Um, now, price was $75 a night. There's a minimum of a three-night rental, which is uh, fine. Um, if you guys need any less, they are, they're really flexible with stuff like that. It will just cost a little bit more. It won't be $75, it will be about $85. So that's um, pretty affordable, and that's pretty much it. A few service fees on top, which is, I think, about $30, uh, which isn't too bad at all. So it's really um, cheap, a lot cheaper than going to Airbnbs. A lot of Airbnbs are getting really expensive nowadays, so this could be a much cheaper option for you guys to get out, explore some of these um, awesome spots so you have in your backyard. But that's pretty much, it, pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. If you guys want to rent one of these teardrop trailers, have a link in the link. Have a look in the link uh, down below in the description. Set yourself on an adventure um, if that's what you guys want to do. It's really easy, really comfy. Uh, it does get a little bit cold. Um, at night inside might get a little bit hot in summer because it doesn't have any fans in it But those are really the downsides, but that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video smash the like button Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time